Lastly, I am glad to introduce Mrs. Kira Appel, who will address the conference on behalf of the Executive Committee on Gender Equality at the Nordic Council of Ministers. Mrs. Appel is a senior advisor and deputy head of department in the Danish Ministry for Children, Gender Equality, Integration and Social Affairs. She is currently chairing the Danish presidency of the Executive Committee on Gender Equality in the Nordic Council of Ministers and ser serving as the vice chair of the Gender Equality Commission in the Council of Europe. Please, Mrs. Appel, the floor is yours. Hopefully I can show a movie to begin with. Yes. Kære grunder, hvis du var et møbel, var du en klassiker. Ikke forældet, men et design ikon. Et smukt og moderne møbel med lige stor relevans i dag, som dengang du blev redesignet. I din formgivning er der kælet for detaljerne, uden at gå på kompromis med de store linjer. Du har et stærkt og robust sted til at bære selv de største byrder. Kære Grundlov, hvis du var et møbel, ville dit design fagne alle. Mænd og kvinder, piger og drenge, unge og gamle. Du skaber nogle fælles rammer, altid toneangivet. Samtidig er der plads til, at vi kan skabe nogle individuelle liv omkring dig. Du er hverken for fin til nogen, eller for ro til andre. Du er et møbel til alle lejligheder. Til glæde, til sorg, til hverdag, til fest, så når man har danset hele natten og har behov for at hvile sig. Kære Grundlov, hvis du var et møbel, vil du indimellem have behov for et nyt betræk, så du kan holde længere og fortsætte med at være tidsvarende. Du skal gå i arv til fremtidige generationer, derfor må vi ikke glemme dig. Ikke gemme dig væk. Vi skal passe godt på dig. Kære Grundlov, vi skal fortsat kæmpe for de værdier, du repræsenterer, til gavn for den enkelte, familien, arbejdspladsen og samfundet. President, ministers, executive director, participants, colleagues, women's movement organizations, organizers, Friends, thank you for inviting me here today. I'm here to speak on behalf of the Presidency of the Nordic Council of Ministers. I don't believe in women's emancipation. It won't suit us. I'm convinced it will be better for both women and men if women stay in the kitchen and in the house and let men do what needs to be done concerning public matters. Well, it's not really my words. It's actually the words said in 1904 when uh, women's rights were discussed in Parliament. Uh, it was Elefeld Lauervi who said these words. Other quotes could be mentioned where women were told that they were too hysterical to be able to take serious decisions. Well, that was then. And in spite of that, women got the right to vote. And that was fantastic. And the Nordic countries did lead the way. Finland were the first to introduce the right to vote. Denmark got the first female minister in 1924. Norway were the first to get the thresh reach the threshold of 20% uh, women in government. Iceland had the first president. Sweden were the first to get reach parity in government. Well, great. Job well done. Just relax now and sit back. We've achieved what we wanted, haven't we? As mentioned, however, however advancements, we still 
it, it's still important to continue to debate on equality, democracy, and democratic participation, because we're not there yet. But today, it's not only about the right to vote or to democratic rights. It's also about everyday life, about work, spare time, family. And this 100 years anniversary reminds us to continue strengthening our democratic system. But not, not only as we began from a focus on women's rights, but also from a perspective of both women and men. Both sexes need to be able to influence their own lives and participate in society. And that was what that short movie was about. It was made as part of the Dan Danish campaign uh, on celebrating the 100 years anniversary. It's about keeping our democracy and our constitution alive and relevant for everybody today. Also, the youth. We need to include them. And even though a lot of men, as in my quote that I started out with, they were against women's right to vote, we shouldn't forget that it was also the men who voted and allowed, hence, allowed women to get the right to vote. So the celebration today is not only for women. It's for women and men, because they realized that it's a win-win situation if you include both women and men. So on behalf of the presidency of the Nordic Council of Ministers, I would like to congratulate everyone, and not least, Madame Fiktis Fintbogadottir, who, will be, who will, we will be celebrating later on today. Thank you very much. <laughs>